Wednesday to you, everybody, and welcome to the party. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to give a, uh, a big shout out. I know that right now we have a ton of Lululemon crowd here. I'm a Lululemon ambassador here in San Diego at the Fashion Valley store. And I also know that a lot of our uh, leadership team are here joining us today because today's workout is going to be brought to you by the Lululemon with Strava uh, Move. Oh man, I literally just had it in my brain. Move Every Day Challenge. The goal is that we are signing up so that you commit to moving five days a week, which we've got covered if you guys are here, moving five days a week uh, at a minimum of 20 minutes a day and then logging that with Strava. Yes, you can log your workouts with Strava. Um, basically, everything is connected. So uh, just wanted to A, thank the Lululemon crowd for number one, joining us, but B, uh, also pushing this initiative so that it just gives us all a reason to continue moving. But those of you that are here, you guys know you're moving already. So uh, let me do a quick comment catch up. First off, before I get into them, everybody, please start dropping your location in the comments. I want to see. And don't forget, smash that like button right now. That's what the PDP Army does. The Push Don't Pull Army, you guys are amazing at helping to spread this message. So if you're here, smash that like button. I want to see those likes skyrocket right now as I catch up. Uh, and then I want to see everybody's location so that we can do a location check. Um, let's do a check-in. Kim, good morning, everyone. I will be with you in spirit today. I have plans. For the 11 a.m. hour, I did just finish redoing uh, 3.30. Have a great workout. Kim, thank you for coming, even though you're not doing the workout. I really appreciate that. Denise, good morning, PDP Army, California, near Yosemite. Checking in. Anyone else sore? Yeah, how's everybody feeling? And you're going to feel sore after today as well. Today is lower body destruction day. I'm excited for this one. I love when my legs are sore. Um, Robbie Lacroix, good morning from beautiful BC. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Almost 2 p.m. here in Connecticut. And uh, let's see, good afternoon from East Coast, from Scott and Nate, he here as well. Lisa, good day, Aldo, good morning, together from very warm and sunny Switzerland. Thank you for joining us, Aldo, happy to see you back two days in a row. Um, almost 8 p.m., so are you doing your evening workout then? Back for more, Teresa, love it, Sea Springs, a little chilly at 50 degrees, and finally, we got some nice weather here in Southern California, I'm loving it. Joao, hello everybody from sunny Portugal, how is everyone? Leslie, Seattle. Uh, Caitlin, first timer and Palm Desert, big Palm Desert fan. So welcome, Caitlin. Uh, hello from central Illinois. Snow this morning, but now it's melted. Good Lord. Uh, let's go, Caitlin. Kevin, what are you doing? Actually, I know what you're doing here, but Kevin, I'm happy you're here. Uh, same. Uh, first time we're here in Temecula, Sarah. Welcome, Sarah. This is all my Lululemon crowd coming, guys. So happy y'all are here. Um, we have a great workout planned. It's on the, the board behind me. We'll get to it in a second. As soon as I can get through all the comments, howdy from Janita and David, uh, Southeast New Mexico. Thank you, Shane. You have no idea how much you're helping others. Thank you, Janita. I really, Janita, I really appreciate it. And I love that you guys are here and showing up regularly. You guys are incredible. Um, Nate and I are back. Nate's got it today. He's hooked. We got him guys. Uh, Joanne. Yay, Nate. Hello everyone. London, England, son. Welcome, Daniel, Robert, Friedberg, uh, New York, Jit, Jitin Misra uh, from New Jersey, Scott from New York, Steve Sinclair back from Scotland, um, North Park, Mary, let's see, San Diego, Kalen Hauser, what's up? Uh, Yasser, Durban, South Africa, welcome, Yasser. Crazy climbing crew, Gron Groningen, Netherlands. Um, what? Yeah, yeah, we've been to Durban. Wife just came through. She's going to be joining us for the workout. Lower Michigan, it's a blizzard. London too. France, Paris, what's up, Fred? How you doing? Welcome from Paris. Um, La Jolla in her, Morgan. Uh, hello from New Jersey. Utah, San Diego, Lululemon, representing absolutely. Brett, thank you. By the way, guys, Brett Timmons, the one who set all this up with us. So you can thank her for the Strava integration today. Um, getting us all to move more and helping to encourage you guys to keep going with this. And again, those of you that are coming, you know, you're getting five days a week and we're getting an hour together. So kudos to all of you. And Oh, by the way, the description for, to sign up um, for this challenge is in the, in the, dis the link to sign up for this challenge is in the description below. So please go check the description. If you are looking for where to sign up for this, it's free. It's easy. I signed up yesterday. Um, so go, uh, please go register below Tom, uh, England friend of Joao who recommended this to me. Amazing. Joao, thank you for referring Tom. Appreciate it. Um, Hey from California, Megan here from Ottawa. It snowed again last night. Sorry guys. 
Here, rainy in Portland. Hi, 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 hi. From Austria. Woo, Lou, Lemon. Uh, Staten Island, New York. Joao, Shane Thomas from my rowing crew from uni. That's amazing. Um, Gloria, looking great. Thanks, Will. I appreciate that. Med, hey, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, Nancy, you're here. I haven't seen Dan. Where's Concrete Head Dan? Um, okay, guys. So, wow, I love catching up with everybody's comments at the beginning of a workout. That officially took us five and a half minutes to get through. That's pretty incredible. Uh, wife has a question about jump ropes. If anybody has a good suggestion for a jump rope that is good at being handled on concrete, uh, our ceilings are a little bit too low in here to be doing to jump rope. And we, so we have to like jump rope on cardboard out in the driveway. So if anybody has a good concrete worthy jump rope, please let us know. Um, she says thank you ahead of time. Uh, Dan seems to favor Tuesday 30. This is true. Actually, I think he said he'd be here commentating today, but not working out. So uh, he's been loaded with stuff. Uh, let's do a quick run through of what the workout is. Uh, I am definitely going to have to work on this whiteboard and the reflection here. But yeah, I know you can see it clearly. So today's workout is a three-parter. Other than warm-up, we know we're going to warm up together as always. But uh, part one is going to be every three minutes on the three minutes for 18 minutes of single leg Romanian deadlift by 10, followed by hip thrusts by 10. Now, again, single leg RDL, those can be done without weight. Absolutely. Hip thrusts can also be done without weight. So you can do those unweighted. You can do them weighted. I'm going to try and do them weighted today. And same with the single leg RDL. I'm going to add some weight to mine. It's totally up to you how you want to manage that. But what, essentially what, how this will work is that the clock will run for 18 minutes. On the every third minute, we will start a new round. And then whatever is left over in that three-minute segment, you get to rest. I hope that makes sense. Next, the same setup, 18 minutes. We're going to do a hamstring curl by 10. Everybody can see why from the reflection. Wave. <laughs> and there she runs. Um, so we have hamstring curls by 10. That can be done in different ways. If you have bands, I'm going to show you how we can do that. If you don't have bands... We can do this simply on your floor, wherever you are. You just have to find some kind of like slippery substance to uh, to execute this. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Next, we have a skater squat, probably a new one for many of you if you haven't done a skater squat, and I will give you modifications for this as well. Again, none of this requires any equipment. Finally, part three, 10 minutes of row, bike, ski, run, or some kind of alternative to elevate your heart rate. I'm going to encourage you today, if you do not have any of these pieces of equipment, to be doing burpees. It's 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 10 minutes of this. That is 10 rounds. Danny, what's up from Israel? Welcome. Uh, saw you made a donation, by the way, to Kelly uh, Sullivan Day, so thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Lululemon crowd, those of you that are here for the first time, uh, this group was incredible on Monday uh, for Kelly Sullivan Day, so they really they showed up. It was pretty cool. Um, so that's our workout for the day. Let me flip the camera around. Are there any questions on the workout? Drop them now as we're warming up. I'll be able to come back and answer them then. Um, so I'm going to set you guys up and walk through some warm up together. I got my short shorts on today. I always do for leg day. All right, guys, we're going to start with a perfect stretch in place. So please make sure you've got your space around you cleared out so that you're ready to go. So um, we're going to start with the perfect stretch. The perfect stretch, one of my all-time favorites. You're going to stand with a knee hug. Give a big knee hug to your chest. Then you're going to drop into a lunge. Place this hand down. So now we have a tripod going. I have three points of connection to the floor. Then I'm going to take my elbow and try and drop it to the floor, keeping my back knee off the ground. Then I'm going to press, rotate, bring my hand up to the sky. From there, hands back down, straighten the front leg, grab your toe, give it a pull so that you get a pull through that hamstring, and then stand up, step back, and repeat. Let's go ahead and do five of those per leg. There's no rush here. Guys, this is just meant to be flowed through. Uh, sorry, there, I don't want this to be static is what I meant to say. I don't want you to... Stay in any one position for too long. Imagine you were just walking through this. Normally, that's what we would do given the space. But because we don't, we're going to work with what we've got. So how's everybody feeling today? Some of you said you were sore. What were you sore from? Anything in particular? And are you excited for the soreness that's going to come from the leg work today? What? Oh, 
we have the what should we call it? It's back. back. Yeah, I know. we got those big. We have we get these like big green shiny beetles. They're they are not smart. I can't figure out what purpose they serve because they only see. Yeah, I guess they 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 serve primarily as bird food. I think. This is five. Oh, this one just hits everywhere. Also, I'm excited for today because, as you know, when we have off the machine work, we get a lot more chatter in the comments, and that's always fun. Okay, now, guys, from here, I want you to do some straight leg kicks. We're just going to execute some straight leg kicks in place. Go ahead and give me five per leg. Everybody say hi to wife. She is joining us for the workout. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's making bread. She's going to put bread in the oven. Okay, very nice. Now, we're going to do a reverse lunge with a twist. I know you can't see my head right now, but we're going to take a step back, drop that back knee, and then you're going to imagine you're holding a beach ball and give me a big stretch and open over the front leg and then stand your feet back together. Reverse lunge again. Make sure that front chin is vertical. Big stretch and reach over the front leg. All right. Let's do four per side. We'll do these fast enough that you start to get a little bit of elevated heart rate. I forgot to put my do not disturb on and I'm getting copious amounts of notifications right now. Next, we're going to go to an inchworm, guys. So standing feet in place. We're going to walk those hands out straight legged into a plank position. Give me a push up. Walk the toes to the hands and walk the feet back. Another push up and then walk the hands back to the feet. Let's do two more of those. Walk those hands out, push up, toes to the hands. Enjoy that moment and walk the toes back into that plank. Push up, walk the hands back to the feet. Now, when you're walking with your hands, guys, keep those elbows extended and attempt to walk through the shoulders, not with the elbows, all right? All right. Very nice. How's everybody feeling? You guys warming up? Let's check in on comments. Um, Nancy, I love jump rope. Not sure where I got mine though. I'll check the brand. I have great, we have great jump ropes. Like I love RX jump rope um, and RPM. They're both great. We have some of each. Problem is they just get shredded on concrete. Um, cancer picked on the wrong girl. Absolutely, Denise. Um, hi. Hi, wifey. Everybody's saying she prefers wife, not wifey, at least in these lives. Okay. Any questions on what we're going to be doing for the movements today, guys? Um, Tyler Combs made it, former teammate, guys, and just great human being. Tyler Combs is on as well. Um, are, I think so. Tyler, are you doing the workouts? We want to know. Um, so, guys, quick, any more questions on what we're doing before we get started? I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and brief the movements here, um, and then I'll give you modifications for what we need. Denise, welcoming Tyler back to the show. Okay, so guys, on the single leg RDL, I want to make sure I don't kick you. On that single leg RDL, what we are going to shoot for, number one, imagine that, that you're going to have one leg down on the ground at a time. The other leg is going to be straight in line from shoulders all the way down to the heel. You're going to unlock that knee that's on the ground. You're gonna hinge at the hip, attempting to bring that opposite hand to touch the floor, and then squeeze your butt and stand back up. That's a single leg RDL. You can wait that or not, totally up to you. Three weeks ago, we did that, and I was sore for a week doing that without weight. So um, I will be adding weight on those today. Again, we're doing 10 per leg, and then hip thrust by 10, or glute bridge is kind of what I'm, glute bridge hip thrust. You can modify that as you want. The simple component of that is that you'll be on the floor, 
feet tucked close to your butt, hands out planted on your sides, and then it is driving the hips up to the sky, squeezing your butt at the top. And don't open your rib cage, all right? I want you to keep that rib cage glued down so that it is the glutes driving the hips open and that you're not getting this false sense of that you're going super high because you break the rib cage open. So keep that rib cage drawn in and simply drive from the hamstrings. Now, again, you can wait with that by taking a kettlebell, placing that on your hips, which is most likely what I'll be doing. You can grab a water jug. You can grab whatever you want. If you have weight, a dumbbell tossed on your hips. If you have a barbell, you can do it from a bit more of a seated position with a bench behind you or something like that. Um, and then it can be a hip drive similarly weighted. Okay, so that is part one. Once we break, I will, or once we finish this, then I'll come back and explain the second part. Are you good? Good. Why is it the E3? Because it's every three minutes on the three minutes. All right. Right, all right, I'm starting the clock, guys. In three, two, one, start. Okay, we're gonna start with our single leg RDLs. I'm going to go kettlebell on this. Yep, yep. So again, for that opposite leg, you're gonna reach opposite hand. All right, so if I have my left foot down, I'm holding weight in my right hand. Yep. Do this with control. Make sure you're not bouncing off of the floor. If you're losing your balance, slow yourself down. You're welcome to use an object to help give you some guidance on that balance if it's causing you problems. Take it to the floor. Again, if you've got your weight, you can drop it on your hips. 10 of these. Give me a squeeze and a hold at the top. There are my 10. So that took about a minute 50, which means now because it's every three minute on the three minute, we rest. So we rest until the top of the three minutes. Don't worry, I have a big clock going over here. Check in on comments as we do in between everything. Tyler doesn't like being called out. Well, then Tyler, you shouldn't show up. You shouldn't show up. You're gonna get called out if you're here. Do a day of eating video, like what I eat in a day. Um, Denise, personal request after workout, hip and IT band stretches. Rowing is tightening up my left hip. You got it, Denise. For you, anything. For my for my drink enforcer, by the way, for everybody who's here, Denise is our drink enforcer. She is the one who makes sure that we are all staying hydrated through our workouts. So when Denise says drink, you got to drink. All right, coming up on our next set, starting in 10 seconds. Hopefully you've got some music that you are enjoying. Three, two, one, starting that next round. Oh, I forgot she hates it when I count. 
I'm trying to just give them a, a frame of reference. One, two, three. That's ten. So I'm curious, Lou Lemon Crowd, how are you guys feeling? Are you excited for this workout? I know for many of you, this may be slightly out of the range of what your normal comfort zone is. Denise, the drink enforcer. <laughs> yes, I like that name. Um, Scott, Shane, my daughter, Layla, and my wife just joining also. Scott, you're incredible. This is a whole family experience now. Um, I don't know your wife's name, but Layla and Nate, I'm so happy that you guys are here. What? Yeah, Nate's back. And now Scott's daughter as well, Layla. So Layla and Nate, both of them are here. How incredible. You guys are really, like, seriously cool that you are all here doing this with us. Denise, not enforcer, cheerleader. LOL. I have no means of punishing noncompliance. <laughs> That's a good point. You don't. That's what I get for not turning on my do not disturb today. Uh, Nancy, I finished the April streak today with a PB in the half marathon. Nice work. Stretch out everything, tighten my body. <laughs> well, we will work. I'll work some good stretching at the end, I promise. We got 30 seconds, so we go, by the way. Um, Teresa, I'm back, and my husband no longer has the virus. Congratulations. That must feel amazing. Um, thanks for the prayers. He starts back to work tomorrow. Feels good to be back. We're happy you're back, Teresa. And I'm happy everything's going okay. Um, Kevin, let's grow this booty. Let's do it, Kevin. I like it. 15 seconds, guys. Yeah. Just camera angle slightly. Everything is on the fly here. Going in five, three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's actually warm today. We have the garage door open, which we haven't for like a month. To the floor. Wife decided that she was overdressed. So now we're cruising. I'm moving about like a minute 15 per round. All right, check back in. Kevin, you're the only one from Lululemon commenting right now. Is everybody just exhausted? Have I already tired you guys out? <laughs> what you guys don't understand, for those of you here that are here the first time, this is a thick community at this point. Everybody is really in. We know everybody's roles at this point. Like I said, Denise, the water enforcer, <laughs> the drink enforcer, Speaking of which, I need to do that. Tyler, how are you holding up? Are you doing the workout or are you just hanging out? One minute until we start our next round. And actually, we're now halfway. So we've done half of the work that we are going to do for this particular part of the workout. So you can celebrate that. You can celebrate that we are halfway through this to then move into more leg stuff. And get excited for the finisher because it's a good one. It's going to be spicy. It's going to start dripping more into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Wife hasn't left her position on the floor, so she's just going to start on the hip thrust. Right. All right, 20 seconds until we start. Ten seconds. 
again, guys, make sure that you are using whatever weight is appropriate for you. If you don't have weight, that's fine. This is still an effective movement without. Let's get it. <laughs> what? You always have headphones on. <laughs> Balance struggling. So guys, while we have our rest period, please make sure that in the description below, you go check out the link for the Lululemon and Strava challenge. The objective here is that we help spread the message about getting people moving because we're all at home right now. So it's about spending good quality time moving every day. And the objective is 20 minutes a day, five days a week for the next month. I think we're already four days through it. For the next month, five days a week, Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Five days a week, 20 minutes a day minimum. Log it in Strava. I believe there's going to be a trophy given at the end that everybody can earn <laughs> that you will be able to unlock by completing the challenge. So that is the goal. Make sure you sign up in the description below. And again, just big thank you to Lululemon for putting this together and having fun with it. Um, I think it's a great way of just inspiring movement. So uh, yeah. All right. How's it feeling? You know what I love about right now? So because my office is here in my garage, as well as the gym, and I basically don't leave this garage during the day, it's, I, I watch my street. And the number of people that are walking the, throughout the day is just crazy right now. And not crazy in a bad way. Amazing, I should say. To see just people walking again with their kids, with their pets, just together. It's amazing. How cool is it that... I mean, we can find some silver lining in this in that at least people are becoming more physically active and we're seeing fewer vehicles on the road. I mean, that's pretty great. <sighs> okay, we're starting again. In five, three, two, one, go. <sighs> That's ten. And to the floor. I'm seeing absolutely no comments coming in, which is very unusual. I have a feeling something broke again when that call came through. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Because normally you guys are very chatty. I see 57 people here and I see absolutely no comments. All right, well, I have my do not disturb on. I have a feeling YouTube is slightly broken because I'm not seeing any feedback from you guys in this moment. And we have experienced this before where for quite a period of time, everybody was commenting and I couldn't see anything. So I'm gonna keep going because I imagine you guys are there. I imagine you're chatting. Please keep dropping comments because I can't see them right now. Um, or if you guys are all just being quiet because the workout's amazing, that's great too. Um, we got one more round left. Starting in a minute 10, the fun aspects of technical glitches. 
Uh, yes. You got a minute left, so you can uh, rock through it. Don't worry, you're gonna start doing it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so you can go watch our house. Oh, cool. And do the workouts with us? Our neighbor's going to do the workout with us. Her son has been doing them with me. Um, normally, her son comes and works out with me uh, a couple times or three times a week. Scotty Miller, sometimes he drops into the comments. Um, and apparently, Dory's going to start doing them on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. What's that? Yeah, Dory, his mom. Scott's mom, Dory. <laughs> we'll be doing them as well. Oh, I'm so bummed that the comments aren't working right now. No, will you do me a favor and try calling me? Because last time that fixed it. Hold on. Let me, uh... What's your number? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a new phone. We're going to start in 20 seconds. Just... I'm trying it. Last time... Answer. Last time when somebody, a second call came through, it fixed it. So we just tried it. We'll see if that works. But we're starting again in three, two, one, go. <sighs> Drop those comments if you guys are hearing me. Five, six, seven, yeah. Eight, nine, oh yeah, do that. Ten. Oh, perfect. Two, because we can see comments there. Three, four, five. Whoa! Six, seven, eight, nine. The uh, channel is Dark Horse Rowing. My own wife doesn't follow me on YouTube. <laughs> Not subscribed to this channel. It should be streaming right now. Yep. <laughs> You see comments? Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. We think we found a fix. Okay. to join the chat. I don't know how this works. Okay. All right, guys. So we now have wife's phone for comments. How fun. I have one out here. Um, no, it didn't work. Uh, okay. Skip trial. Good. Technical stuff aplenty. Okay, I'm seeing all the comments. This is amazing. Uh, let me back. Wow. Just say, oh man, there are so many comments. There we go. Um, you guys are amazing. I'm just going to catch up to the current comments because I can't otherwise. So that was our last round, by the way. Um, did it work? No, it didn't work. Tyler just texted me a picture. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate that. Um, Cat Michaels, what's up? Where are you? I'm happy you're here. Uh, please rank or do five burpees. You will know if you do. <laughs> there we go. Denise has found a way to enforce without having any kind of enforcement power. Um, Aldo can hear me loud and clear. Uh, Lamar saying, sup. Nancy, we can see you, though no blackouts. Well, that's good. Um, so I'm happy you guys can see me. Uh, need another incoming call that fixed it last time. Or see, I know we tried. It didn't seem to work. Uh, hopefully just with time, it'll repair itself. How annoying. Um, Posting and hanging in there using a kettlebell, maybe a little aggressive for the first time and enjoying the challenge. What type of bread is your wife making? Sourdough is first attempt at sourdough. By the way, I'm going to take a, a I'm going to catch up here because we're done with that round. Um, so I'm going to catch up with comments and then I'll walk you through what we are doing next. Lane the Blue, your boy is here. Lane, as I just learned, is correct me if I'm wrong, Lane, but you are a fencing coach, right? Um, who looks like he is trying to start getting his his uh, fencing coaching off the ground, which I think is amazing. I think fencing is super cool. Um, and I saw your your Instagram yesterday, so cool. Kudos to you. Uh, Leslie, Hene, we're here. We see you. Your boy is here. Uh, me too. My favorite pink Lululemon short sleeve shirt. What? Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, too much tech. Too much tech. Um, okay, so in the meantime, while she's doing that, um, keep the, this is so weird. Uh, well, we can plug in for a bit. All right, here, I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to talk through part two here. So again, same thing, 18 minutes now, but we're doing hamstring curls by 10 and skater squats by 10. So here's, let's talk through what those are, okay? Um, get back. 
Uh, Lane, I am a fencing, co- fencing coach. Thanks for the shout out. You're welcome, Lane. Uh, Nancy, I'm working on homemade uh, pie crust for our quiche tonight. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Triple cap, kettlebell is easier than barbell and also easier than with no weight. Oh, good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, um, really quick. I'm going to go plug her phone in so that I can continue to receive um, chats from you guys. Um, okay, so the hamstring curl can be done a number of different ways. All right, now, if you have a band, I'm going to say that this is kind of your, your best option for a hamstring curl. You need to find a low object, and you're going to tie the band to that low object. For me, I've got a squat rack. For you, it can be you know, a, a heavy sofa. Um, you could go around a door handle and close it into a door, something like that. And then what you're going to do is set up face down with that band hooked around your thighs, you're gonna take a walk out and you're gonna curl that band, okay? That's gonna give you that hamstring curl action and make sure you don't get tied up in the bands after. The next option, if you guys don't have a band, is that you can set up, like if you have a wood floor, this is actually really great, or if you happen to have furniture sliders, like those little clear, pla- those, those gray plastic things that you put on your furniture, um, they work really well for this. You will go on your back, Feet are going to go on the t-shirt if you're on hardwood floor, or you could just probably do this in socks as well if you have a hardwood floor or, or tile floor. And it is going to be, I can't really do it. Well, yeah, I still can. Uh, not really. It's very grippy because it's rubber on rubber. But you will essentially be pulling your feet into your butt and then sliding them back out and back into your butt. Sorry, that's not a great demo because I don't have good. What? I'm going to use a band. Oh, Yeah. Um, so that's one of the, one option. Otherwise, if you have like a Swiss ball or something like that, this works as well. You can do a Swiss ball hamstring curl. So we happen to have a Swiss ball here. And with a Swiss ball hamstring curl, I got to move the camera down. Um, Swiss ball hamstring curl. You are going to put your feet up on the ball. You're going to bridge your hips and pull those heels to the hips, keeping the hips high the whole time. That's your hamstring curl. Okay. So you will do 10 of those. Do you want to use the ball for that? Yeah, okay. Ball. She'll take the ball. What are these for? These, I can these... Round. Okay. So I'm going to use a band for the hamstring curl and then the skater squat. Now you're going to want some kind of a padding for this. A pillow is perfect. If you can find a pillow or a yoga mat, which I have a feeling many of you have. So get your yoga mat out. Okay, you're going to want some kind of slightly elevated cushioned surface beneath you. So what I would encourage is fold that mat over several times. What I'm going to do is actually kind of stock it up a little bit. So it's sitting a little bit higher. We'll both have access to this. So a skater squat, guys, from a standing position, it's essentially like a, a lunge, except you're going to take this foot, bend it at 90 degrees, and you're going to basically lunge until that knee touches the ground, keeping the foot off the floor, and then come back to standing. I'm gonna back up so you can get a better angle of that and do it from the side. So again, leg is bent, I lunge, knee comes to the ground, and then I stand. I hope that makes sense. The mods that I would suggest for this, if you don't have that, if that makes you uncomfortable, if you're not excited about it, is number one, just go to a standard lunge. Okay, so we can do 10 lunges per leg. With that, weight up if you need to. If you want to make it harder, give yourself more weight, give yourself more resistance. Okay, that's option one. You can do that. You can also add in a reverse lunge if you prefer that, which tends to hit the glutes a little bit more than the quads. A forward lunge tends to be more quad heavy. A reverse lunge tends to be more glute heavy. Your pick on what you would like to do there. Oh, perfect. A BOSU ball is perfect for this and actually is kind of the ideal cushion for it. So I'm going to demo on this now. Yeah. (laughs) So again, it's a lunge. Knee comes to the surface and then stand again. Knee comes to the surface and stand again. So we're doing 10 of those per leg. Does that make sense? Any questions? Do you see any questions on the feet over there? It stops. So it's catching up now. Try to go live. This is old. What? It it paused. And so it's not. Oh, no. Here, let me just re- redo it. Yeah. I'll just redo it. You go do it. I'll tell okay, you. Okay, guys. 
Air loading. Jeez. I can't win on tech today, you guys. Okay, so um, that is going to be part B here. Uh, I'm going to use, you got them back? Okay. Are we charged enough that I can walk around with this for a second? I mean, no, we're in red. You go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Um, new to the community. Hi, Rachel. Welcome. Bulgarian split squat with a chair. That's another great alternative um, lane. That's a, a, a great option. Shane, Nate does fencing. Uh, wanted you to know. Oh, that's oh, super that's cool. So cool. Okay. So Scott, now Nate, you should follow Lane the Blue uh, because he is a fencing coach. I saw that. Um, I think I'm back. It looks like it. I can actually see comments here. God, you guys are amazing. Thank you all for helping contribute right now. Question, uh, okay, uh, Polaris heart rate monitor, H7, H10, which and why? I will get to that uh, later, Denise. Sorry, specific question. Um, can we answer it while we're stretching? That would be great. Um, with that being said, let's just go into the workout. Let's get this part two started uh, because we took some decent time <laughs> in answering questions and just figuring out the text. So again, have your hamstring curl option ready. Okay, what are you gonna I do? Like it better. It's kind of hurt back. It's so the hard. band? Yeah. Okay, you use the band, I'll use the Swiss ball. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, we, we can just attach it to that one. Okay. okay, so we've got them set. I'm gonna plug her phone in. I'm gonna start on the skater squats then. Okay. And so that way we alternate. Does that sound good? Because yeah, I'm going to use this. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, we're going to go in. I'm just going to stop this and restart it. Yeah, tech is falling apart today, guys. Here we go. We're going to start it now. Let's go. Oh. Yep, around your heels, both legs. Both of the two points. Yep. I got you. As close as you can. Do, you want a good story? Do I want a good story? Do you have one? <laughs> Not to share. Okay. We'll tell the story later. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, sorry, I'll get out of your way. Eight, nine, whoa, ten. Okay, you're up. Again, if that doesn't work, you can go to a lunch. Kind of, but you're touching your knee and you're keeping your heel curled to your butt. So not your shin, your shin shouldn't even touch Toe won't touch the ground, shin won't touch, just the knee. <sighs> Try not to bounce. Oh. Yeah. Don't give me trouble like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna catch up with comments here, you guys. If you've left them. Uh. I don't see any questions. Great question, Denise. I've been looking at heart rate monitors too. Is there one linked in the description? There's not. Denise suggested that I link that the other day. So I will look at uh, doing that. Generally, the H10, the uh, Polaris H, Polar H10 is kind of the recommended heart rate monitor um, that a lot of people use. So that's kind of what people gravitate to. I don't have experience between the H7 and the H10, so I can't really give you great advice on that. As long as it has AMP Plus, which I believe both of them have, you should be fine with that connecting to your monitor. And that's going to give you plenty of heart rate feedback. And of course, as always, chest straps, way better than wrist. Wrist just does not work for rowing purposes. It's crazy. I don't know why. I think something with like the tensioning of your hands just throws off the ability for it to grab pulse. So that's just something to think about. Um, okay, we are going again in five, three, two, one. Go. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? By oh, yeah, 10. Can't really win. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, I'm really folding and reaching the knee down. Ten. And you keep the. Yeah. We're all learning right now. I feel like today is exceptionally on the fly with how technology is crapping out. <laughs> but it's all right. Y'all are still here. You're still doing the workout. Keep your heel curled to your butt. Yep, the whole time. Yep, imagine you can try. You could try. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's closer. Yeah. Yeah. And then try to do it without the bounce. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they are. Skater squats are not easy. Um, Emmanuel, bonsoir. Bonsoir, Emmanuel. Uh, any way to do it lighter on my ankle or see absolutely again just modify um, modify to sorry I'm here uh, modify to any kind of lunge it does you do not have to do this modify to make it easier harder for yourself as you need so you can do a standard lunge forward or reverse okay um, Denise awesome thank you Shane Kevin paper on carpet works for hamstring curls paper on carpet perfect or cardboard because I bet we all have lots of boxes coming from all our shipments right now Danny yeah, you probably shouldn't have it in your house. But uh, question: What is your opinion on trying to row a half marathon for a person that rows twice a week? It's doable, but you do have to train for it. So I would say that. Um, Denise, I have the H10 and love it from Joanne. Good question, Danny. Yeah, that. So um, yeah, H10 is kind of uniform. It's what a lot of people use. Um, so and yeah, on the half marathon there, Danny, it's totally doable. And depending on your fitness level, you may even be able to just jump into it. I don't always advise that, though, because that's a lot of butt in seat time pretty quickly. All right, we're going in two, one, and go. No, half marathon. It should be about like two and a half, maybe two. Yeah. So. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, that's a good one, too. 10, cookie or baking sheet on the carpet. This is amazing. See, we just all have to be crafty right now. There's no, nobody ever did a YouTube video on putting a cookie sheet on the carpet to do hamstring curls. But guess what? You guys figured it out. And you're sharing your secrets with one another. Yep. So if you guys couldn't tell, the skater squat requires some hamstring, con uh, some hamstring tension and control. So it's a sneaky way of me getting you doubly on the hamstring work. It's, it's a hamstring. It's a hamstring curl to keep that heel up. Drink. I don't know if Denise has said so lately, but Denise, the drink enforcer. I'm with you. All right, we got a minute rest here. Catch up with some comments. Um, did a 12, did it on a 12 inch step. That's great, Gloria, fantastic. Denise, my comments are frozen now. Oh, well. Well, but I just saw that comment, Denise. Uh, 
Craig Vivian, thanks so much for all your energy and videos. Nancy, what are you listening to on your AirPods? Just curious, multitasking and listening to tunes. Um, <laughs> Nancy, uh, nothing. I actually just have them in so that I can talk to you guys. They're my mic so that wherever I am in the room, I have a microphone with me for you. Uh, that's why I have them in. So I'm not actually listening to anything. Uh, Kat, I'm going to feel this tomorrow for sure. Thanks, Shane. You the best. Kat, you the best. Thank you for doing it and hanging with me here in one leg than the other. That's normal. We are not symmetrical beings, despite what anatomy books will tell us. Anatomy books would say that we are perfectly symmetrical. In reality, none of us are perfectly symmetrical. We always have imbalances to one side or the other. So don't ever think that something is wrong with you just because one leg or one arm is stronger than the other. Okay, we're going in two, one, go. Ten. One. Two. Oh. Oh. Lost my balance. Feeling it. All right. So Speaking to that symmetry, my left leg, for example, is much healthier on those than my right. Um, I feel it a lot more when I'm on my right leg. And my right foot also has to toe out versus my left foot where I can be toe straight forward. Logged back in. Happy hour, drink time. <laughs> True happy hour, the real meaning of happy hour, Denise. Um, Megan Beth. Am I significantly better at skater squats on one side than the other? Falling all over the place. Am I right? Like, yes, it's exactly what I'm talking about, Megan. It's normal. Okay. Don't hesitate to give yourself like a slight push off if you need that balance. If you need something to assist you, work on it. Try to assemble, try to assess the why behind it instead of just saying, oh, that leg is weaker than or that leg is stronger than the other. Try to assess what's going on. What can you change? What can you shift? What can you focus on for the future? that will help you to maybe bring the two closer together. Nancy, in my opinion, two days a week for half marathon training, accumulative meters is good training, two days they recommend to be building. I like that explanation, that's a good one, Nancy. But you're a marathon ultra runner, so that is my experience. Yeah, you you put in some serious meters, Nancy. My dog is being a great assistant, <laughs> that's amazing. I love the, the uh, dog companions during the workout or the kid companions during the workout. All right, we're going in 15 seconds. I'm going to start on my bad leg this time so that I can try assessing when I'm not tired. That's amazing. <laughs> Two, one, go. Ke wife is now saying that she wishes she could be fencing. So uh, perhaps, uh, Lane, maybe you can give some online instructions to my wife. Five, six, seven, yep, nine, ten. It was interesting. Starting with that leg made it a little bit better. Yep. Two, three, four, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Onto the curls. On curls as well, I notice a big difference between my hips here.
<laughs> I'm curious, how are your hamstrings feeling, guys? Are they smoked yet? Cool, thanks, Nancy, from Danny. Morgan, got to hop off for a call, but Lululemon represent. Happy you were here, Morgan. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us for Booty Gains. Erica, woof, feeling the burn. Yeah, me too. My hamstrings are a mess. I'm doing half your work. Don't judge yourself against me. Remember, I am also doing my own recovery here, so there's, there's no reason any of us should be judging ourselves or stacking ourselves against one another. So simply doing it for ourselves. We're all in our own situations right now. So, um, but I am curious, otherwise, how your hamstrings are all feeling. Um, I think I have enough juice that I can probably keep this with me now. Uh, Tyler Combs, are you still here? I'm curious. Oh, right as you comment. Tyler, I'm always competing with you, Shane. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's impossible for us not to compete with each other. Um, all right. 25 seconds. What's that? Well, wife wants you to send proof, Tyler, that you're actually doing the workout. Sorry, I forgot that I'm looking at this and the comments are here. Um, I just don't know. It smoked by using my curl machine with weight. Oh, you've got a curl machine. That's amazing. That's great. Smoked, very deceiving. Scott, Nate, how are you feeling? Scott, please remind me of your daughter's name again. I'm so sorry. Layla? I'm so sorry. I, I'm blanking on it right now. Um, do I have some leg workout progressions or see fire if life is a competition <laughs> with yourself? Competition with yourself. All right, guys. Last set. Here we go. Started us 10 seconds late, but that's okay. It's the last set. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You smoked. <laughs> ten. Probably. Yeah, that's like my left leg. So what she's saying is, it's that it's not that she's weak in one; it's just that she's stronger in the other. So it tends to dominate. Yeah, yeah. That's what I just had to let off on my left leg on the last set of curls. Yeah. So let my right leg do a bit more work, for the same reason. all right that is our last set you guys now we just have our little hit finisher and we're basically done um everyone's doing good layla okay got it layla is your daughter's name nate and layla yeah how old are, how old are nate and layla i think you said nate was 10 Wife is helping me on the age with age on this one. Yeah, it says hammies in a good way. Love it, Brett. You know, we're all gonna feel it tomorrow. We're all gonna be like, oh yeah, yep, that live workout. Now I remember it. Um, do I have a leg workout program, Clyde asks. This Clyde is my leg workout program. But yes, I could probably write one. Um, that I, sh I should think about doing that. Oh, by the way, guys, get super excited. I, uh, yesterday, um, for the past like week, we've been heads down working really hard during the day. We have a new, um, intro to rowing program. Basically like you just got your machine and you need guidance and you want to learn the, the movement. You want to start to understand drag factor and calorie rowing, all those things. We're putting that together as a new program that we're going to have on the site. So get excited. I think that is going to be coming possibly Monday will be released. So if you guys are not on our email list, make sure you do that so that you guys get alerted when I come out with that. Obviously, I'll be talking about it here on the live, um, but just wanted you guys to, to know that that's coming. Um, 
Denise, I'm so toast. Drink, please, just for me. Nate is 10. Layla is 8. He says you have a, you have a good memory. Um, Nancy, if I copy paste your affiliate links, they work to credit you right, or do you have to link direct to affiliate? Yes, they do. It does, does still work. Thank you, Nancy. That's really that's very thoughtful. Yeah, if you take uh, our affiliate link and you drop it anywhere, it will we will get credit for it. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. What? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> distracting me over here. Uh, Denise, science shows that by the time you are thirsty, you're already dehydrated. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. That's amazing. Because uh, I love the seat saved me today. Uh, Teresa, how did you? How to? How do you get on the email list? Go to darkhorserunning.com. Um, at the end of every blog article, for example, we have a sign up. You'll probably get hit with a pop up as well. That pop up will um, get you on the list. It's pretty much the same list for um, that will will blast it to. So uh, yeah, go get on that list. Again, I'll also probably have it in the description uh, on Monday once we go live with it. Um, and I'm trying to make it as affordable as possible for everybody right now. So I think it's going to be like nine dollars a month, um, and it's a, a progression for you basically to start from zero and go to very confident and uh, confident so that you can go into whatever the next phase is, whether that's joining in the crew with us, um, which is also getting updated at the moment or moving into other things. So um, you're welcome, Teresa. Okay, it's time for our finisher, 10 minutes. Reminder, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. You pick your machine if you have one. If you don't, it's burpees, okay? A burpee, just as a reminder, in case you don't know, I think most people do at this point, but from a standing position, it's a drop to the floor. Press back up, feet come under you, jump and clap with open hips, okay? That is your burpee. So it's gonna be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Do you want bike or do you want rower? Bike. You want bike? Okay, I will be on the rower. So I'm gonna adjust our camera position so that you guys can see me. <clears throat> Let's see how that worked. I'm keeping your phone, by the way, so I can see. Um, <clears throat> triple cap. I pushed back my three to three fifteen. That's amazing. So that you could make, you could stay here for the workout. I love that. It's incredible, triple cap. Okay. Uh, there's your alarm, by the way. It just went off. <laughs> Baking while working out. <laughs> I don't know if that works well together. Um, final push, baby. Let's go. Love it, Lane. Okay, guys. So 10 by 30 seconds on, <clears throat> 30 seconds off. I'm going to uh, set my timer on the monitor. So I will be calling the 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Lululemon crew, can I get a big old cheer for you guys being here and for finishing out this workout together? I'm so proud of all of you. So um, guys, also remember, please, in the comment or in the description below, you're going to see that link for how to sign up for the Lululemon and Strava combo um, so that you can be a part of this challenge going forward and uh, help spread it to others. Really take that link, spread it out, give other people a reason to work out for 20 minutes a day at a minimum. Bring them in to join our lives, right? Give them a place and a reason to continue to move. Just because we're stuck inside right now does not mean that we can't keep moving as proven by the fact that we're all doing this together right now. So um, with that being said, signed up. I love Strava too. Awesome, Nancy, love it. Uh, there. There's my Lululemon crew. All right. Uh, thank you, Lululemon crew, for joining us. Smash that like button, folks. Yes, smash that like button. Thank you, Denise. Okay, guys. Now, uh, from the main menu. All good? 10 minutes on the timer. All right. For select workout. That's the B button. New workout. D button. Intervals. D. Intervals time. B. Changing that set time to 30 seconds. I'm just going to do it <laughs> since we're running behind right now. Set rest time to 30 seconds. Okay, that's 30 on, 30 off. We've got 10 rounds. Please get on your machines or get ready for your burpees. And we're going to do this. Those are very tight straps. Okay. Okie dokie, here we go. Sitting ready, guys. You ready? In three, two, one, go. Ugh. Hit those sprints, guys. This is a hard push. This is not easy 30 second time. This is go time.
Five, three, two, one. There we go. Round one, done. Check in with those comments, Denise, Shane. There's a 30 on, 30 off. Oh, custom row list. I just found it perfect. That works well. Keep moving if you like. Grab a drink of water if you need. Listen to what Denise tells us. 10 seconds to go. Thanks, guys. Have to hop off for work. Later, Brett. Thanks for putting this all together. Three, two, one. Here we go. That's two. <clears throat> You're gonna be done before you know it, guys. If you get a moment, drop into the comments how you're feeling. Give each other some love and some motivation to finish thing, finish this thing strong. We're gonna be done before you know it. Going in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one, easy. What's your split from Tyler? <laughs> of course you wanna know. Hard to beat you if I don't know where you're at. I'm at a 134, Tyler, what are you at? I think so. Tyler, what's your split? Let me guess, 133. <laughs> Competitive teammates. Going again in five, three, Two, one, here we go. Three. Two, one, time. 127. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Danny, I love that you're giving a shout out for Dan Concrete Head, who's not here right now. Mad 126. Nice job, guys. 10 seconds till we go again. Five, three, Two, one, here we go. Three, two, one, easy. Where's Concrete Head today? Nancy asked, I think he's doing house projects. I think he said yesterday and today were house project days and he'd be back Thursday. Woo. <laughs> 10 seconds. Going again, five, three, Two, one, here we go. Hit those burpees, guys.
Three, two, one. Easy. Danny, try to go up at least one burpee at each round. That's a perfect target. I like that, Danny. Especially since there are only four left. Five, three, two, one, go. Here we go. Two, one, easy. What's that? Oh. Three left, guys. Three left. Telecoms, if you're hurting, hit that like button. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ty. Denise, Danny, you're in beast mode. Going in five, three, Two, one, go. Two, one, two left. Good job, guys. Danny, you're in beast mode. I'm already stretching. Looking for my ice bag. Hello from Chile. That's amazing, Gonzalo. Welcome. Danny, I like so much. Sprints on the roar. Five, three, Two, one, hit it. Three, two, one. One left, guys. Oxygen. Yeah, please. Butt on fire. Love it, Robbie. Ditto. Ciao, Gonzalo. 10 seconds. Last round, guys. Five. Three. Two, one. Three. Two, one, easy. That may be the hardest I've gone in any of our workouts yet. Robbie says butt on fire. Yeah. Joanne, oxygen. Lane, last one, max effort. Yep. Horsey, thanks, I have to go, but it was wow. Good job, Horsey. Denise, as soon as you can, breathe again. Hydrate. Lane, ooh, good burn. Yeah, Rachel, this is the first thing I did this morning. 
And I'm grateful. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you for joining us. Good job on choosing to do this as the first part of your day. Aldo, great work as usual. Thanks. The Alps over here are still rocking. Good luck, Aldo. That's amazing. Danny, Denise, you're amazing. Denise, hardest for us too. I'm alive, still alive. Uh, somebody asked what my final split was. It's uh, final split was a 132 point something. It's gone now. I could pull it from the memory, but 132 point something average on that last piece. Hope I can slide out of bed tomorrow. Just wait until you all have to go to the bathroom tomorrow. <laughs> the sitting up and standing down is always where it gets you. Um, Tyler, what should we be shooting for total meters? I got 163 with my total meters per round. Tyler, Joao, you're welcome. Um, Teresa, I just got to 159. First time below two. New two rowing two months ago. Thank you, Teresa. That's incredible. Congratulations on going sub two on your split. That's huge. Triple cap going on call. Can't breathe very well. Just mute. Mute it first. <laughs> And just try to calmly stare at the camera while nose breathing. Um, Erica, good close out push. Appreciate you, Shane. Erica, appreciate you too. Triple cap in a good way. I'm sorry, I don't know how to um, pronounce the Greek alphabet. Thanks, great workout. Thank you. Danny, very good, Teresa. Leslie, thank you. Have a great day, everyone. You're awesome. Scott, row, assault bike, jump row, burpee, switch every round between the four of us. So cool, Scott. Thank you so much for bringing your family. I don't think you realize how inspiring that is to all of us, myself. My wife, everybody on here, it's just incredible. So honestly, kudos to you and your family. Nate, Layla, you guys are fantastic. Way to show up, way to do this together. You have no idea how much fitness is a positive push for your life and for your future. So um, just keep it up. Y'all, you're an amazing family. Uh, Denise, Nancy, stop. Woo-woo, Teresa. Grease. Stretch people, don't get cramped up. Um, <clears throat> Nancy. Cheers, see y'all tomorrow. I'm taking it easy today, Diane. Dan, I told you, or Denise, sorry. Um, Denise, I said I would stretch and run us through some stretching together. So let's go ahead and do that. If you guys can, grab your uh, grab your, your yoga mats. I'm just gonna grab what I have closest to me. Okay, we're gonna start with dragon, low dragon. So here's what I would like. I'm gonna back up so you can see me more. So you're gonna set up into a lunge, feet flat on the floor, and I want you to drape your body over your knee. So you're gonna put all of your weight into that front leg. Oh, let me get the comments here so that it starts stretching through that foot, the Achilles, the heel. Thank you from Ukraine, amazing. Shane, are you on again tomorrow? I'm on again every day, Tyler, Monday through Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Tuesday, Thursday, 8 a.m. Come join us, guys. Uh, Scott, thanks from all of us, Shane. That was great. Scott, thank you. Super cool. Um, Tyler, Ukraine, woot woot. Thank you for including the stretch. You're welcome. Oh, I need this one. I feel it in my foot. That's crazy. <sighs> that feels nice. Need a stretch where I'm not kneeling. I have two bad knees. Mm. But you need your hip flexor opened, right? That's a little bit tough. I, I could think like you could go to your side, Denise, and uh, grab a band, loop it around your ankle or your toe. And uh, yeah. Um, and get your stretch to the quad that way. Tyler, see you tomorrow, buddy. Thanks for joining. Denise, after each row, your knees are hurting. <sighs> Sorry, guys, switching legs here. Um, yeah, Denise, that's what I'm imagining is taking a band and not you'd be on your side, so it'd be your top leg, whatever hip is up. Band loops around the ankle, and then you could kind of pull it like up and over your shoulder um, for a quad stretch. Otherwise, Denise, did we talk about barbell mashing your quads? Uh, we discussed that, and have you done it since? I'm curious. Uh, good, guys. Relaxing. Relaxing that leg. I'll try that. Plus, I can drape my knees off the bed to stretch the iliopsoas. Yep, absolutely.
Yes, did foam roller mashing help some? Now, foam roller, barbell mashing. Do you own a barbell? And can husband help you with that? Or give you quad massage um, as well? Because that helps a ton when you can relax more than what you can do on uh, a foam roller. This is kind of fun. I can see the top of my head. I never get to see the top of my head. Danny, my knees are always hurting. Born with them misaligned. Oh, no kidding. No barbells. He can use his foot um, to mash that quad. Oh. Okay, we're gonna take a seat. We're gonna get one butterfly stretch in, and then I've got to call it for you guys for the day. Mentioned something about Strava. Yes, Gloria. So um, this workout is brought to you by Lululemon and Strava, who are putting together a challenge to encourage everybody to move at least 20 minutes a day, five days a week for a month. And the link is in the description below. So you can um, sign up that way. It's free. And at the end of it, you earn a little badge if you're able to pull it off. And it's just a way for all of us to come together. I think I saw this morning like 160,000 people have signed up for it. So it's pretty cool. You get to be a part of definitely something bigger. And if you keep showing up here, you're going to be getting your workouts in. And you just basically log them when you're done. So um, it's pretty cool. Thanks for showing up, everyone. See you tomorrow. Appreciate it, Robbie. See you then. Okay, guys. This is our last stretch. Just enjoy it. Drape yourself over your legs. Breathe, relax. Let that lower back release. Denise, um, where I was mentioning about mashing, where her husband can use his feet, if he takes off his shoes and you're sitting on the floor, he can use his foot to actually back and forth across your quad. Um, you obviously have to communicate with him, but he can give you a pretty deep tissue massage that way, where in which you are truly relaxing and um, you will get a deeper tissue massage than a foam roller can give you. Hair mouth. Thank you, Matt. No worries. Everybody has something. Rowing helps so much more than it hurts. All right, guys. Uh, with that, we're going to wrap it up. So thank you all so much for joining today. Y'all are incredible. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thanks for joining us for this live. Thank you again to Lululemon. Get excited for the new program that we have coming out. Probably Monday it'll be released. Um, videos and whatnot are all getting set up today. Great stuff for all of you wanting to get started on your machines um, and learn how to use them well to then give you confidence to move into a bigger program, something that has more focus like our crew, right? Where a lot of people come in and they're unsure of where to start. This is where you start. It will be the most thorough resource for getting started that I can create and uh, try to make it as effective as possible for you guys. So I love you all. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Wednesday and we'll see you tomorrow morning.